All right, so I'm going to show you some of the basics on how to freeze a track. Um, the reason that you would want to freeze a track in Ableton is to save your CPU. What I've done here is I've made uh, a MIDI part using Operator, and uh, I loaded it with a bunch of effects. Reverbs are especially CPU heavy, um, and pretty much loaded it with about nine other effects as well. So essentially, if you get a bunch of tracks that have a lot of effects, it's going to eat up your CPU. If I play this, uh, which I will here, it's just a little Donna Summer riff, um, it's, it's going to be uh, somewhere in the 70s and you're going to notice the audio probably start to crackle a little bit. As you can see over here, we're in the high 60s, low 70s. And that's just one track. Um, in order to save CPU, uh, it's just as simple as doing this. You, you're just going to right-click on the track, go to Freeze Track, and then it goes ahead and processes it. Another way to save CPU that I'm not going to show you in this tutorial uh, is to uh, bounce uh, audio, uh, usually like a MIDI, MIDI track to an audio track, or bounce an audio track with a lot of effects um, to another audio track. Um, I actually have a tutorial called uh, MIDI to Audio Track, so you can take a look at that. And there's our there's our frozen track. Now, what's the difference between a regular track and a frozen track? Well, as far as sound is concerned, uh, there's really no difference at all. But uh, as far as editing is concerned, you can no longer do any editing on uh, any of the effects. So you got to be kind of happy with the effect. Now, if you decide you want to change it later, that's fine. You would just go here and go to Unfreeze Track, and then you would retweak your effects, and then you'd refreeze the track. Uh, no problem at all. But the cool thing, in version 6, I don't think this is available for version 5, but in version 6, you can still, as you can see, well, let me go over to my volume here. You can still make your little elbows and do your little volume edits and panning edits and everything here. And you could also do your cut, copy, and paste. So if I wanted to, I can cut that or let me undo that. Uh, I can go ahead and copy that part and drag it. The way I do that, I explain it in another um, tutorial, but I just basically highlight, left click, and drag, and then hold down the control key and just do like that. So anyway, that's uh, a way to save on CPU. Just a real quick tutorial here. Hope it helps you.